destroy they give you 15 minutes mm -hmm. they speak in a moral way take the valuable thing you want in 15 minutes we are gonna to destroy they are writing you are prohibited to, to go in we are gonna to destroy it you know here in Palestine our income is very low and the material of building are from Israel <laughs> so it may, maybe it took us five years or ten years to build a house. You know, it cost maybe fifty, sixty thousand US dollars. It's very, very expensive to build a house here, and that is something like uh, related to policy. You know, they destroyed it in five seconds or ten seconds. Why? Why this house? I asked this question to the Israeli captain. He told me that security reasons. So I asked him, "Do you afraid of houses?" The house will not attack you. Yeah. If you're afraid of you, know, you should be afraid of people, not houses. But you know, this is a policy. It's not security. It's 18 years old, 16 years old. How many soldiers here? Yeah? Maybe 200, 100. Palestinian road from Tawani goes north to Carmel and Yatta. And so often, Israeli military will set up a checkpoint on that road to, to block traffic. How long the delays for the um, Sometimes it's only an ID check and it's only you know, 15 minutes. Sometimes it's 
In the fields, often they'll come and say it's forbidden for the students to be in this area. And so they'll try and you have to leave or we'll arrest you. Sometimes they'll threat with close military zone. Sometimes they have the actual order, sometimes they don't. So it is trying to push people off the land. Yeah, I mean, just last week, um, the 31st Wednesday, I think, uh, one house was demolished in a village just south of here, and five toilets, just like this one here, was demolished by the military. Because they didn't have permits. And if they tried to get a permit, would they receive one? We've observed the settlers building onto the outpost, obviously without per permits because it's an illegal outpost and their, their houses are still there. <laughs> They come to the, my house. They need to <coughs> check the house, or they they want to see who's in the house. I told her they, I need the permission from you. He will kill me. Mm. He told me you are crazy, and something like this. Because you speak Israeli, it's not. Uh, they don't treat like this to show you permission to knock the door to speak. Please, can we go inside? They just go in. They go in. Um, sometimes, if they don't, uh, if they don't find what they want, they make uh, all the house like this up down. Yeah, they turn it upside down. Mm -hmm. Because they don't uh, find what they want. Do they just do they break things? Yeah, they break things and they make sometimes you know the soil, uh, the uh, the sugar yeah. and the soil they put it together. <laughs> Sometimes they make like this, and they, sometimes they, the cover they make it outside that after you can uh, do it. Yeah. They kill. Sometimes they take uh, any person who's in the house. And kill them? Sometimes they kill them. This is in Geneva? This is in Geneva also. Yesterday, the, a man, uh, he wants to go to the market to buy something, they kill him. <laughs> Palestinians alone, they are cannot uh, stop this uh, war. Yeah. They need somebody to help them. But Israel, she is strong, stronger than us. We, the Palestinians, it's like you can't take the land, you can't take the souls, you can't take whatever but the dignity. This is something that really, that we cannot bear so much. You are welcome in Lima, but without your guns. And your <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> Woo! Woo!